Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Monday, September 21st, and I think it's 934. I believe that's right. All right, this article, thankfully, has pretty big letters, so I'm going to read it to you. Remember what I did last week? Talked about AstraZeneca stopping their trials because some, I think it was a girl, came down with a severe neurological problem, some kind of myelitis, inflammation of her spine. Well, then they decided we're not going to stop it because of one person, so they continued it. And I did a video on that. All right, well, this is a follow-up to that. So this is done... Uh, it's the Hal Turner Radio Show online publication. And there's real tiny letters there. I can't read them. Might be saying who wrote it. I don't know. Listen to this. AstraZeneca revealed details of its large coronavirus vaccine trials on Saturday the third in a wave of rare disclosures by drug companies under pressure to be more transparent about how they are testing products that are the world's best hope for ending the pandemic. Hmm, right. The release comes after a second vaccine test volunteer developed neurological problems. According to sources, listen to this, who claims to be familiar with the vaccine trials, the second volunteer suddenly started saying, they've killed God. I can't feel God anymore. My soul is dead after the vaccine. Some of you may remember they put there was a video put out in 2005 if my memory serves me right that was that was shown it's, it was sent to me in my email a number of times I shared it when I first saw it I think I might have shared it twice and some people thought that it was Bill Gates a young Bill Gates doing the program, but I don't believe it was Bill Gates. Anyway, they were talking about how this vaccine would kill the molecule in the brain that would cause fundamentalists to not be so, uh, like fundamental. They were trying to insinuate it was for fundamental, uh, a radical. Islamists that it would cause them to stop being so in love with Allah that they would stop blowing things up yeah right they wanted God out of us is what they wanted now somebody is claiming they've killed God I can't feel God anymore my soul is dead God have mercy God have mercy on that person I know the Bible says my people perish for lack of knowledge. I'm sure they weren't told. And they probably don't have somebody s sending them YouTube videos about vaccines and what they're going to do to them and how God said it'll change your DNA and I will no longer want you. Or maybe someone sent them a video and they didn't bother to listen to it. That's how it was with my family. They just either they either they just didn't say they watched them, or they just deleted them. My sister admitted one sister out of five. Well, I'm one of five, so one sister out of four admitted. Look, Jeannie, we're just deleting all those videos you send, so you might as well not send them. Well, at least she told me, you know. The rest, I have no idea if they watched them or not. All right. Polls are finding Americans increasingly wary 
of accepting a coronavirus vaccine. And scientists inside and outside the government are worried that regulators, pressured by the president for results before Election Day on November 3rd, might release an unproven or unsafe vaccine. Oh my, you mean there's actually somebody in the government using their head? Praise the Lord. The release of these protocols seems to reflect some public pressure to do so. Let me see if I can make this any bigger. Sometimes I can. Okay, that's bigger. Wish I could make it darker. Let me try it again. Now oh, that's better. Okay. All right. The release of these protocols seems to reflect some public pressure to do so, said Natalie Dean, a biostatistician and expert in clinical trial design for vaccines at the University of Florida. This is an unprecedented situation, and public confidence is such a huge part of the success of this endeavor. Public confidence is such a huge part. Well, yes, it's going to take public confidence for them to accept a vaccine. Unless, of course, President Trump can force his military to come door to door and just shove a needle in our arm. Well, they'll have to shoot me first. Looks like we're still going to be here, but no, I don't mean to say that. Sorry, Lord. I'm a little down. I really thought Rosh Hashanah was going to be the time, but no, we're still here. Maybe tabernacles. We can hope. Experts have been particularly concerned about AstraZeneca's vaccine trials, which began in April in Britain because of the company's refusal to provide details about serious neurological illnesses in two participants, both women who received its experimental vaccine in Britain. Those cases spurred the company to halt its trials twice, the second time earlier this month. Hi, Jasper. Aren't you so cute? Come here. Come here. Somebody requested to see you. All right, let's check our placement here. This is Jasper. I, I tried to trim his facial hair a little. I still have a little work to do, okay? <laughs> He's not real cooperative in holding still. Would you if I was cutting your hair right next to your eyeball? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, this is Jasper. You want to sit and watch me make a video? Huh? Yeah, you're so cute. Oh, <laughs> he's such a sweetie. You know, I made y'all video in my iMovie. It was several little videos and some pictures. I put it all together, and YouTube won't let me upload it. <laughs> Are you a secret spy? Are you? And you forgot to tell me? Are you? They won't let me upload your videos. Oh, maybe he's a secret government spy. Anyway, let's move on with the article. Experts have been particularly concerned. Let's see. Okay, I read that. Okay, those cases spurred the company to halt its trials twice. The second time earlier this month. The studies have resumed in Britain, Brazil, India, and South Africa. But are still on pause in the U.S. You want down, baby? I'll put you down. 
He seems wiggly, like, oh, I want down, Mom. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah, you can lay up there if you want. Okay, so it's still on pause in the U.S. Hmm. About 18,000 people worldwide have received AstraZeneca's vaccine so far. So does that mean that 18,000 people have already had their DNA changed? And that's why one person, one person said they couldn't find, they couldn't feel God anymore. That's kind of sad, you know, unless others are just not saying anything. AstraZeneca's three pay, I'm sorry, 100, it must be 111 page trial blueprint. That's strange. 111. Hmm. Trial blueprint known as a protocol states that its goal is a vaccine with 50% effectiveness. That's their goal. Wouldn't you want something like 75%? 80 maybe? Oh, y'all, let me tell you something. I'll hold my cursor there. I walked my dog out this morning. And sitting outside, there are so many cases of all boxes, all the same size. I would say two feet by... 18 by 18 or maybe bigger they're all the same size and there's at least three dozen to four dozen they make walls they unloaded them to where they made walls out of them and every single box says well not every single box every so many boxes there's a label that says COVID-19 on it but it doesn't the, the other wording doesn't give me any idea about what's in it. Hmm. I've never in my eight, going on nine years, eight and a half years, whatever, living here, ever seen a delivery like that. Kind of creepy. All right. So they want 50% effectiveness. The same threshold that the Food and Drug Administration has set in its guidance for coronavirus vaccines. Reckon that's all they hope for for flu? You can take flu vaccine every year with thimerosal or whatever adjuvants are in it. For a 50% hope that you don't get the flu. To determine with statistical confidence whether the company has met that target, there will have to be 150 people ill with confirmed coronavirus among participants who were vaccinated or receive placebo shots so they are giving placebos out of 18,000 people worldwide there will have to be 150 people ill that doesn't add up they want 50% effectiveness. Somebody explain that one to me. That math doesn't add up to me. Anyway. All right, so moving on. However, the plan anticipates that a safety board will perform an early analysis after there have been just 75 cases. If the vaccine is 50% effective, at that point, it might be possible for the company to stop the trial early 
and apply for authorization from the government to release the vaccine for emergency use. The company did not immediately inform the public about the neurological problems of either participant. Nor did it promptly alert the FDA that it was again pausing its trials after the second UK volunteer developed illness and an independent safety board called for a temporary halt according to multiple people familiar with the situation. The company's chief executive told investors about the problems but did not discuss them publicly until the information was leaked and reported by STAT. That's all caps, S-T-A-T. Now, who is STAT? Now that you have read this story, please cover the cost for what your visit costs this site by clicking one or more of the ads below the comments, which generates advertiser revenue. Okay, well, I don't need to read that. Uh, I don't see anything for sale down there. <laughs> Okay, so what really got me is the title. They've killed God. I can't feel God. My soul is dead. AstraZeneca halts COVID-19 vaccine trials after second volunteer develops neurological problems. I guess Hal Turner wrote it. I, it just says World News Desk, 20 September 2020, hits 12,917. 12, 12,917. Okay. Well, I'll end it there. And, uh, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. I hope it stays up. People need to see this. Well, all vaccines have, you know, their ups and downs while they're being tested. But it sounds to me like they're going to accept fewer, you know, problems and I don't know. You tell me what you think in the comments. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of us and all our devices and our internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.